I'll just, uh, you know, just to appreciate, you know, uh, the fact that I'm here in the U.S. Uh, to me, it's like a dream come true, you know, <clears throat> and I appreciate the sponsors. I appreciate people who, who, who came to South Africa just to support me in the ministry and to encourage and to go just uh, see what has been going on there. Uh, since I started uh, church planting in uh, 2007. So I appreciate their help, I appreciate their support and everything. Yeah. Especially the people from Second Baptist Church, yeah, they've been a, of a good help. We, we started the, the first service, worship service, on the 3rd of uh, uh, March, uh, sorry, February, <laughs> and uh, 2007. And uh, I started with uh, the kids, you know, we were two adults, there were two adults and uh, eight kids. And it was in my, uh, my dining hall uh, when we started that uh, meeting. So <clears throat> we continued until I, I wanted something, that uh, a place, an open place where people will come uh, you know, seeing that this thing, you know, is church and uh, there's uh, some Bible studies and the like. So we spotted the, the, the place and one of the lady who was there, he asked me to uh, come and use uh, the shack. Uh, she has a, a shack in the backyard, but uh, she didn't do anything about that. She, it was empty. So she asked us to come and have fellowship there. So... Hope Restoration now is doing great, and but we have many kids. We don't have uh, uh, so many adults. Uh, uh, right now we have uh, eight, uh, eight women, and I have only one man. And uh, most of the, 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 the people there are the kids and youth, but youth also, uh, they, are not that, uh, uh, they are not many. So, but we, we, we are doing evangelism. I teach them to go door to door, uh, witnessing, and uh, they are doing a great job. We have some Bible studies on Wednesdays and prayer meetings on Fridays, and we have worship service in, on, 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 on Sundays. Let me say uh, it was of good help, and it is of good help even now uh, since... Uh, when one starting a church, there is no that uh, financial support, especially, uh, and there is no some funds from the church uh, since there is no one. And to me, the partnership uh, financially has served its purpose uh, by contributing and you know uh, supporting me financially every month. And it was kind of like a refreshment to me because some of the staffs that I, the personal staffs that I, I, I had to do, uh, then I couldn't have done that uh, without the, the financial support that uh, the association was, uh, you know, bringing. And again, morally, they were of good help since they were able to come to visit us and uh, giving us some materials we should use or curriculums we should use in uh, like different uh, ministries, especially the kids' ministry. Uh, they did minister uh, very well and they touched people's lives. It's, it's, it, it, it's like uh, at first people doubted uh, my presence. They thought, oh, we know about this ministry things, you know, this is a new church. So, I mean, everyone would go out. He's going to go. He's only here to uh, uh, collect money from the people. So, but when they come, and the, 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 the people from here came to South Africa just to support me, it touched people's hearts and people were, were questioning, like, oh, this one I think is different, you know. Uh, and the response of the people became, you know, great. And though many of the people went back, 
but uh, these people uh, left a mark on people's uh, uh, hearts, you know. So it was of great help. Uh, we, we, we lack the, the curriculums for uh, different ministries. And my passion uh, is on the kids because we can only reach uh, the, the older people through the kids. We can reach the adults through the kids. And, and, and that's where my passion lies, you know, from the kids to the youth. So we need to have some stuff, some curriculums we can use to reach out to, to, to the kids. So I would say uh, if the partnership can continue and uh, send <coughs> us or help us with the curriculums, and number two, uh, help us with the people who can train uh, leaders like a youth leader or Sunday school teachers and you know, different ministries like uh, women, women's ministry, uh, it will be of good help. We have many young adults uh, in the place and we are not able to reach them because we, we lack materials. We don't have anything to can reach them. But uh, if we can have some curriculums, I think it will, it will be of good help. And, but not only that, again, uh, I'm serving in a community that is so frustrated and they, people there uh, don't have hope. Uh, that's why I, 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 I call the church Hope Restoration Baptist Church. So we are there to give hope to the people through the gospel of Christ. Uh, but we, my plan is to have some projects that would help people who are not uh, uh, working, who are not employed, so that uh, they will find uh, help uh, both sides, spiritually and, you know, uh, socially. So we are planning to have some projects and many people I came across, they asked me about this and I, I told them that, you know what, if we can have some project uh, going on at the church, then people will be uh, flocking there and will be able to reach uh, others who, who, who don't know Christ. So we really need some project and some curriculums. I wish the, the partnership, uh, that the partnership can continue. And I, I, I've heard that uh, after the partnership, yes, it's a friendship and that's a great thing. That's a good thing. Uh, but uh, to me, it's like, uh, we were not uh, ready until now. Now we start seeing things in a different way. So if maybe they, it, it can continue for maybe three more years, uh, that would be great and that will make an impact. And I'm speaking on behalf of the, 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 the whole association of free state. I know I, <clears throat> I have uh, a second Baptist church that will still uh, support me for the next two years. But uh, to really impact the community or our communities, uh, we would love uh, uh, that uh, the partnership would continue and, you know, starting to assess uh, what we haven't done, uh, uh, raw, I mean, right, and what we have done right and to start coming up with some fresh ideas to take from where we have, done, we have not done right and, you know, continue for maybe that three years. And I think it will be impacting.